Hi and welcome to a video about setting up and casting a CESA VR kit. I'm Ben Jusius and I'm a project officer for the Computer Science Education Research Team at the University of Adelaide. This is one of the kits that's available from our free lending library and this video is intended to help you get your VR kit up and running quickly. Okay, safety first. Oculus recommends it's only for 13 years and over, which means pretty much year seven and above, mostly used for high schools. Hardware can be shared, so clean everything between the users. The, the kit comes with silicon covers and you can use hand sanitizer on it. It's not recommended that you use hand sanitizer on any other parts, but apart from the, the handles, of course you can. Now I set up a space, now I like to take this area out and for, to make it nice and safe, have about three meters by three meters per headset. Okay, what you're gonna need from the box. Uh, you'll need the four Oculus headsets. You'll need an iPad, the Wi-Fi dongle and the Chromecast. You don't need the 360 camera, or the SD card. Now what you will need to do is prepare the headsets simply by charging everything. Uh, the headsets have probably been in transit from the previous school back to the uni to your school. So uh, make sure everything's plugged in, get it up to 100% so you're ready to roll from there. Now, making the connections. Where does everything go and how do you do it? You will need a display. So I'll basically we'll set it up in this situation here. So first thing you do is set up your Wi-Fi. Now you can set up your Wi-Fi. It is the backbone to everything. Everything goes through your own little network. Uh, so that's, there's different ways of doing that. Obviously with the kit, it's, you set up the Wi-Fi dongle, but if you're setting up another one just at home, you can use a phone hotspot or your existing Wi-Fi. If you do use the hotspot for your phone, it can't be uh, the same phone same, or same device that you have Google Chrome, Google Home on. It has to be an uh, independent little hotspot there. Okay, next, uh, how to connect the iPad to the Wi-Fi. Now, Apple has made a great little video on how to do that. Uh, so what I'd do is I'd recommend you pause this YouTube now uh, and then just open up that video. The link is in the comments below. Uh, so do that now. So we had to connect to the network. Okay, so the network should be connected now. Next is hooking up the Chromecast, uh, the iPad to the Chromecast. Now you'll need some bit of software on your iPad for this. Now the university one comes with it. If you don't have it, uh, you'll need to put it on there. So first of all, hook your, plug your Chromecast into your device. It comes with a HDMI connection. However, you also will have to put in a 240 volt supply or the USB. Now, the software I spoke about, you need to put Google Home onto the iPad. So, Go to the App Store, which looks like that. Choose Google Home and open it up. From Google Home, uh, it once again, there's a great tutorial on how to fill that in. Uh, and it's it comes, it's the autoplay once you open up Google Home. So I recommend you do that. And just pause from here, and you'll see that it's done that. Boop, and there you go. And you should have a Chromecast. 
just to test it out, uh, run one of the videos. Uh, you've, you have three options. I really recommend the slow-mo guys. Uh, that, that's really cool. Oh, I've got a lot of time for them. Okay, now you've got the your Wi-Fi set up. You've got your iPads connected to the Wi-Fi. You've got the iPad connect to the Chromecast. Now we connect the headsets to the Wi-Fi. So in order to do that, find your open, get into one of your open space areas, stand in the middle uh, and put on one of the headsets. You need to set up the guardian space as instructed. Uh, including the floor and that will start you in the lobby now in front of you you will be different apps but what I'm most concentrating on is looking for the Wi-Fi signal on the, con the control panel click on that and that'll take you into another menu which you'll probably need to put in your uh, password uh, and when you've done that you can simply select done And once you've done one, connect them all. Uh, so that all, they're all on the same network. Finally, cast into the display. Cast into the Chromecast. Once you're back into the lobby, you wanna look for this sharing icon there. If you click into there, you'll get an option, different options. However, the one you're looking for is uh, being able to cast uh, and select, you'll uh, select the Chromecast device. Uh, it will come up different options and you wanna select the Chromecast device to uh, cast to. Now, if you'd like a bit more support on how to cast uh, you can go to the Oculus support page, which you find here, and the link is down in the comments below. So you can pause this YouTube uh, and go there and pick this up again. And then you should be cast into the Chromecast. Uh, now using multiple headsets, it can only, uh, go to you can only cast one headset at a time so we need to take it in turns between the headsets uh, to get it onto the display okay you are done now if you follow these uh, steps and the tutorials you should be able to display what's going on in your VR world uh, with the others and if you're wanting to find out more about digital technologies and education, I fully recommend that you go to the CESA Digital Technologies Education page uh, website. There you'll find uh, links to our available MOOCs, which are a massive open online courses, uh, your lending library, professional learning. Now the resources, that will link you to uh, lesson plans uh, and uh, units of work about VR and other areas. Uh, of course, you can subscribe and follow us on, on Twitter. The university has six free self-paced MOOCs. Um, each one of them uh, goes in depth into different aspects of the digital technologies curriculum. Uh, the foundation to uh, F6 uh, gives you the basis of talk, teaching in the primary school while up into the years uh, seven and eight certainly is great for the high school uh, teaching the ai and the cyber awareness uh, is great almost for any year level and of course keep in touch uh, you'll find us on lots of different uh, social networking platforms uh, we'd love to hear your stories about what you're doing in your classes uh, and also keep it uh, you can keep updated with what other people are doing as well. And you can find other videos about digital technology education on our CISA YouTube channel.